Hi guys, welcome to Busy Bodies, Healthy Busy Bodies actually. It is my brand new YouTube channel and I'm very, very excited. Um, so first things first, a little thing about me. I am so excited to be talking about nutrition on this channel. I um, have recently lost 90 pounds. Yes, I'm super proud of myself. But I still have a, a ways to go. So I needed some inspiration. And the best motivator when you are trying to do something like lose weight is to have a system or a partner um, or someone kind of in your corner so you guys can encourage each other. So I'm hoping this channel will encourage me to keep going because I still have more weight to lose. I'm still technically about 20 to 30 pounds overweight. So I'm still in the journey and still in the fight. But I'm hoping I can inspire others and others can inspire me. We can talk about nutrition and health and wellness and just how to have healthy bodies. It's not about being skinny. It's not about, about being, you know, anything else other than healthy. So I'm excited um, about myself. I'm a licensed esthetician, which means I, I do skincare and now I'm a newly licensed massage therapist. I absolutely love it. Um, as well as losing weight and getting healthy, I'm learning more and more about um, health and wealth and nutrition and just the overall body. I've really, really become very passionate about just holistic health. So I was thinking about going back to school again in nutrition um, and like learning more and more about it. But then I thought, hmm, I can just make a YouTube channel. I can get ideas from other people and we can talk about health, wealth and nutrition there. So. I'm pushing school off for a little while. I'm kind of just overtaking all these classes. But anyway, so now you know a little bit about me and my weight loss journey. I'll actually be putting um, pictures of myself when I was 90 pounds heavier. Um, but it's okay. Um, I'm not ashamed. I'm just, you know, <clears throat> I'm ready to just move forward. And, you know, I'm very excited about my journey. And I'm going to be talking about some things that I did to lose weight. Some things that I continue to do every day. Um, and things that, you know, just will never change because it is a lifestyle. I am a vegan. I also eat an alkaline diet. hate to use that word, but I eat an alkaline, you know, lifestyle also. And I'm going to upload a couple videos about alkaline versus acidic foods and, you know, the difference between the two. And um, we're going to just be learning a lot, a lot, a lot together. So I'm going to take you on a mini tour of my kitchen. No judgment. Um, this is my kitchen. Um, this juicer, I juice for 45 days. Yes, 45 days. And, you know, I, I lost about 35 to 40 pounds when I did. Super, super, super proud of myself. This juicer was a godsend. There's more expensive juicers, masticating juicers that are three and four hundred dollars. I just wanted to get started, so I just bought a very simple Hamilton Beach Big Mouth Pro Juicer. I think it was like 49 bucks. So, I'm going to give you a sneak peek in my refrigerator. <clears throat> so, I said I'm a vegan and I also eat alkaline. However, there are a few things in my refrigerator that are non-vegan. Like the eggs and like the butter. And there are a few strays. And the reason for that is because my son, who is 18, he was a vegan first and he kind of inspired me, really. is That's kind of how I started to first lose weight. I was buying him foods and things, you know, trying out this vegan lifestyle with him. He was about 11 or 12. And I kind of liked some of the foods and I was very overweight, extremely overweight. Like I said, almost 100 pounds or more overweight. So I, you know, I jumped in that lifestyle and some things I took and I kept and some things I, I left behind because I just didn't like them. So he actually goes back and forth between vegan and non-vegan. So I bought him a few things to cook with, like the eggs and the butter and a few of the little strays I have in here. And then he decided he wanted to go vegan for a while. So that's fine with me. You know, he's young and, you know, he... I don't mind him going back and forth as long as he tries. That's pretty much all you can ever ask of anybody. But this is a sneak peek in my fridge. These are some of the staples I have at all times. I always have um, fresh garlic and um, fresh basil and parsley. I do eat a lot of um, tofu. 
I eat a lot of, you know, vegan style cheese, which is the Daya or Daya brand. I'm not sure how you say it. Also, another company, I don't really care for theirs as much. Follow your heart. Not as good as the, the Daya brand, but it's it's okay. They do make a couple of other things, like a big vegan staple is Veganaise. A lot of vegans eat that. My, my son loves it. I don't really care for any mayonnaise at all. But that's also by Follow Your Heart. They make a wonderful dressing. As you can see, I never want to run out of it. It is <laughs> an organic miso ginger dressing. It is 100% vegan and gluten free. It's just delicious. And I eat a lot of salads. So I do keep a lot of kale. I keep a lot of spinach. Um, I keep a lot of mixed greens. Cauliflower I have on hand because I love to make mashed cauliflower. It tastes like mashed potatoes. Ugh, but carb free, guilt free. If you eat the whole friggin' thing, you won't feel bad. You just blend um, cauliflower and you blend tofuti. It's a vegan um, cream cheese. And you just add a scoop or two and a processor and blend it together. A little salt and pepper or garlic. It is just phenomenal. And I have, actually have a few of those. I also keep a lot of nutritional yeast flakes in my fridge. I think I have a brand new one down here because I make a lot of tofu scramble. And that is uh, so wonderful to add into any tofu, any soups, any stews. Nutritional yeast flakes just have a lot, a lot of health benefits. And um, I give myself a few treats. Like these are date coconut almond rolls. Just, they're really good. Got a couple of those. Um, and of course, there's some fruits, some grapefruit. There's um, some apples down there, some cucumbers. Um, since I am a vegan, of course, I don't eat dairy. Um, so I do keep a lot of almond milk on hand. There's quite a few, actually. There's another one down there. I think it's vanilla. That one's light. But um, that's just a quick, a, excuse me, a quick sneak peek into the refrigerator. Um, like I said, it, it's not about being perfect. I make, you know, a lot of decisions that, you know, probably aren't the best for me when I eat. I try my best. I absolutely give it my all. You know, I'm, I am on this journey to lose more weight. The last 20 pounds has been really, really, really difficult for me. Not to say the first 90 was easy. It took me forever. But um, certain things do get easier. You know, you don't miss certain things as much. When you first switch over from like dairy to non-dairy and from fast food to fresh food, you know, you kind of go through a little bit of like, gosh, I really miss it. And then after a while, it does become a staple. You know, it just becomes the way you eat. And if you do decide to go eat something that's not so good for you here and there, you know, you don't feel as bad because, you know, maybe 80 to 90 percent of your choices are good choices. So that's a little bit about me and the day of the life of, you know, weight loss and me trying to get healthy and just honestly just keep going so I don't give up. I um, am so super, super, super excited to start this channel. Again, I'm going to be uploading some like recipes and things that I eat. I'm also going to be talking about the juicing. Since I did juice for 45 days, I'll tell you about some things that I noticed when I juiced. Um, I'll tell you about things that kind of helped me and hindered me when I juiced. Um, my gosh, the first week of juicing was crazy because I love coffee and that was hard to kind of like wean myself off of. I got the worst headaches. Also, since I also eat alkaline, um, coffee is a big no, no, cause it is one of the like biggest acidic like beverages. So coffee just had to go. I had to eliminate it and, um, I'm okay. You know, no more withdrawal. I'm not shaking like a crackhead anymore. So things are getting better for me. So anyways, welcome to Healthy Busy Bodies. Um, again, I'm so excited. I hope you like the channel. I hope you subscribe because we're going to be kind of spending a lot of time together. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.